back at it again. My name is Mary Ann Mwangi. I am a Kenyan living in Germany and this is the life update you have been waiting for. I literally don't know where to start so I'm just going to wing it and tell you guys what has been happening the past uh, almost one year since I last posted my last YouTube video and this is me coming back so ta. also one of the things i really have to mention from the bottom most part of my heart is everybody that has reached out to me and uh, communicated and asked me how i'm doing those messages have uplifted my spirits in times when you all didn't know what was going on huge thank you to everybody i have been seeing you on my comment section i've been seeing you on my tiktok seen you on my instagram i deeply deeply appreciate those messages and you guys are the reason why i'm back here and let's push this wheel a little bit farther so guys it's been about almost a whole year since i last posted a video and now i am four years in germany let's talk about it let's um speak of what happened and what has been happening and what's the most um, current and recent state of my life because yeah no idea bro so um when i stopped uh, shooting content for youtube i didn't genuinely have a reason i was going through a lot and i had just joined my last year of my hospital and i think with every end comes the shock of oh my god i don't think i'm ready i don't think i'm prepared enough so one of the things that was um, very easy for me to drop was youtube which is quite unfortunate so i did actually stop shooting videos because i got into my uh, third year of my hospital and things were getting a little bit more heated in my school um, rather my school work so i definitely had to take a step back and um, reevaluate and strategize how i wanted to approach the exam upon doing this i was exactly four years in uh, three years in germany um the things that followed on are of course more studies uh, more pressure because i was living at um, my students uh, 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 students apartment where i was doing my hospital currently i have concluded but we're coming at that where i was doing my hospital and um so i did have the thoughts okay so where am i going to move to do i have a place am i going to get a place in time as you know the looking for an apartment in germany is really really difficult and you could be looking for months and actually not finding something the other thing was do i have a driver's license because once i concluded i was going to be doing both day shifts morning shifts and night shifts and i really didn't imagine myself going through uh, traveling a lot to come to work for especially night shifts and leaving night shift going back home very early in the morning was also something that, that made me feel like I definitely need a driver's license so at that point of course everything became a lot for me in my plate and I and I had to really just uh, take a step back and reevaluate take care of my health take care of myself and it has definitely been worth it I must admit I have missed shooting content definitely definitely and i didn't realize that we actually have a community and um, people even one year later still look for you and i think that's some of the most kindest things that i've gotten to experience on this online space that we've definitely created for each other here um so i did actually start my driver's license and it's now about a year and i prepared for my theory exam all through to august and just before i wanted to do my exam uh came up an issue and i wanted to go home so i did fly home back home in august and i was there for three weeks and upon coming back i had forgotten everything that i needed to um, pass my theory exam for my driver's license and i know this sounds really foolish but like that exam is not even to joke with it's not even a joke so um when i came back i had in the intention to go back on youtube but i couldn't because i was still studying for my uh, bachelor's i'm studying for my hospital i'm studying for my uh, theory exam i'm looking for an apartment i'm following up on 
my health and it was just um, a lot of things on my plate at once so upon coming back in august i couldn't as well come back to shooting content even though i did actually shoot a lot of things when i was in kenya i was not feeling it i think when you know you know just now i do feel it and it's within me to come back and create nice content for everybody i didn't have it at that point so i did come back and i took my theory exam in um, i think late september september october september november late september early november and by god's grace lord we passed because <laughs> it's really not a joke and it's very easy to fail that exam but let's just call it chance and grace and every good thing because i got through it and then i wanted to immediately start with my practical classes but then came a huge life crisis that i was going through don't know if we're ever going to talk about it up here but uh, so then i started to face a very difficult challenge again towards the end of my um my third year and it definitely slowed me down with everything i was trying to catch up with at that time and point in life and so i couldn't even start my practical classes until the following year which is this year early january beginning um january i had a lot of exams from my bachelor's from the semester that had started the year before just as i came back from kenya in october so things were just a lot for me it was really just a lot and it, and it really became too much and in january as i'm doing exams for my bachelor's i'm also preparing for my actual practical exam that is to me i think it was actually my biggest fear going through the exam period to become a nurse the practical part was really the hardest part for me because i thought you just get a patient and you don't know this person you know nothing about them and in this one sitting of your practical exam you have to prove if you're qualified to be a nurse and that for me was it was really scary scary because i uh, scary because i felt like your practical exam you, this there isn't really much you can do in preparation for it so definitely um gave me a hard time in january uh, put me under a lot of pressure as you can tell gained a lot of weight because stress you know and like not really paying attention to the things that you should be paying attention to so yes um that is towards early this year in january and then i did have february which was now the most intensive part of preparing for my theory and oral exam and i remember studying every day literally every day or every other day for this exam during um this february period and um upon um concluding february getting into march taking the exams and thankfully i did um, succeed i did pass my exam i did get my certificate as we speak we're speaking to the newest nurse in town and of course it's um very beautiful it's um it's also a situation that's very humbling thinking of where people come from bro like mm -mm. let's take things seriously one more time and uh, let's just be thankful let me be thankful of my position currently because it's been lovely so i did actually conclude my uh, training in mid of march and i became officially a nurse from the first of april which is this week on monday so if you watch this you definitely know it was somewhere on the weekend of april live from hamburg yes yeah uh, apart from all that i was definitely was thinking about okay so if i conclude successfully what do i want to do afterwards how do i combine that with my studies um how do i keep moving ahead uh, luckily for me i got uh, retained at my institution and i'm now working at um, uh, a surgical uh, surgical and orthopedic orthopedic station which is uh, very very interesting to me it, i developed interest for this um, um for this area of nursing as soon as i actually started because it was one of the first things i did in my early early practicals for my nursing training and i loved it loved it loved it loved it luckily they had the capacity to absorb me immediately after my hospital and that's how i have uh, been recently as we speak i 
I'm staying literally at a place where I'm being hosted for a short time so I'm still in the process of looking for an apartment in Germany I'm still looking to pass uh, my practical exam of driving and so my thought is once I get a driver's license then I can choose where to live because I can drive to work without the stress of oh do I have a ticket or can I take the train on time touch the train on time and all that kind of thing so it's it's not really being a situation where everything was dropped and then now everything is fine basically not the case so I'm still fighting trying to uh, get more comfortable thinking of how do I even prove myself now as a nurse how can I acquire as much knowledge as possible in my day-to-day -day approach of nursing because it's different when you're a student and then all of a sudden you show up and people expect you to handle like you're supposed to, to do things and it's crazy like I was thinking um, if someone dies in my uh, shift I'm supposed to be able to resuscitate them of course I have learned it and it's within me and in me to know how to do it but we definitely cannot um, really look away from the fact that it's it's now my responsibility like it's now my question to answer it's um, in my place to know what to do and it's definitely giving me a beautiful thrill every time I show up at work it reminds me of the effort that um, it has costed the past three years and then again it also challenges me to be better and challenges me to be the best version of myself for my patients because it's absolutely beautiful um, yeah i think basically that's the life updates that i can recently give now, now that i am back uh definitely looking forward to shooting more and more con content especially positive things about nursing as well as also the challenges and the most difficult parts of being a nurse because i did take you through a little bit of that in my training so i'm looking forward to bringing you guys into what a day-to-day -day life is as a nurse is and especially as a foreigner nurse in a foreign country what are the possibilities to make yourself better in um, to better yourself in this kind of career in this field looking forward to interviewing different nurses from different countries in the netherlands in norway nurses from luxembourg and um, so i'm definitely looking to expound on more knowledge especially in the field of nursing looking forward to sharing with you as well my uh, life my lifestyle explaining to you guys my life choices even though even though i don't have to and uh, i am looking to be having at least a video every week and when time and chance allows it then at least even two sometimes so make sure you stick around this is not just a comeback video to then come back one year later and do another comeback video we're definitely working on the consistency and uh so feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel feel free to leave me a comment ask me anything coming back to all of that and uh definitely very happy about it yeah so i will be meeting ruth kim very soon make sure you look uh, out for those videos that uh, will probably be shooting today make sure you subscribe to her channel and um yeah again i would also be talking about what my whole hospital process was for me again right from the beginning to the end into working so if you're looking for this kind of information make sure you stick around leave me a like leave me a subscribe a subscription if you're new to the channel and let's hope to um get the questions as well from the uh, from you guys at the comment section make sure you also give me ideas follow me on instagram and um, let's create a better space for everyone and uh, thank you guys so far and uh, take care of yourselves and uh, getting to see you is really my pleasure bye